I'm just going to do a power up in the uh, back in the cabinet this evening um, because I want to check to see what the, the volume levels are like with its internal speaker. I've got the uh, pygmy bulb, which is a sort of like a, an orangey colour. That was the bulb that was in there originally. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's the colour I like. Uh, I think I might go for a clear pygmy bulb because this looks a bit looks like I'm advertising a knocking shop. Actually, it's it's a bit sort of a bit garish a bit, and a bit red. Don't like it particularly. Um, I have also found something else that's quite interesting and, and it is causing the problem with uh, the overall performance of the set, particularly on FM, and that is the volume control. The volume control knob has been uh, pot has been replaced with a 50k pot. Now, in the circuit diagram, you can see the pot here, just and that runs straight off the um, FM discriminator and uh, on the AF detector, obviously. But the problem is, if this pot is 50k, it's putting a hell of a load on the output of the uh, of the of the detectors. And I think also that is the problem I find that if I put a strong signal into the set and turn the volume up, the mo set starts to motorboat and the 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 the, the, the uh, supply rail dips in and out. I think it's because it's drawing too much current out of these um, this valve here, this V4, the detector, the UABC80. So I need to try and find a, uh, a one meg pot with a switch built into it. Now there is one on eBay which has got a one meg. It's got to be a logarithmic pot. Otherwise, if you use a linear pot, you you get a fast build up of volume, and then it sort of then you don't get much of an adjustment on the very high end of the range. It's because you the the audio levels are logarithmic for the human ear because you hear in a logarithmic scale. You need a pot to match or sort of follow that sort of. Um, audio uh, trend I suppose if you like, you know, the, the way the slope of the, of the volume goes up with um, in a logarithmic scale. So I put it back in the in the cabinet uh, and I also need to do an, IF oscill an, an RF oscillator adjustment possibly to bring the FM back in line but we'll switch it on. I haven't got all the knobs on at the moment. Let's plug it in. As you can see, that sort of red glow. Um, not particularly. I don't particularly like that. It looks a bit. Uh, I don't know. It just looks a bit cheap and, and nasty. I think a, a, a traditional uh, white glow might be better. I might be able to get the paint off the bulb. Actually, I might have a look at that later on. But um, let's just have a listen. See what it sounds like. There's a bit of a buzz because I'm running on the isolation transformer. <laughs> The government says it may any buyer who comes forward. Hello everybody! We are Dan and Phil from the internet. Okay, that's... Humans have told them first they must have used Parliament. For some reason, the sound's really distorted now. Well, there's a bit of Bromley magistrate in South London charged with the murder of the police officer Gordon Phil. Stefano Brizzi, who's 49. I'm not entirely sure why the sound's so awful now. It was quite good over the natural part of aging. Take it off the isolation transformer. It's only better than that earlier on. The difference between a pit bull and a woman in menopause, which is scarier. Very strange because it was working quite nicely earlier on, and now it's sort of got this distortion on it. I don't know what that's. Made in isolation. Education officials. Oh, it looks like the direct because it's got a directional area and door in, inside the set. It's getting multi-path distortion. I'll get this on the uh, FM area on the roof. But next Monday. Let's try again on. Them. I was um, at that age when I'd worked for it, and then suddenly I was confronted with well, the hot sound level's actually and, quite good. You know, full volume, but as I say, that potentiometer is actually pulling down the output of the of the set anyway. 
So I'm going to try and get hold of that pot. I'm going to have to get a shaft extender as well to bring the shaft out the front because the pot I've got that's in eBay is only sort of quite short. Um, this is 93.5 Radio 4, the scale calibration is out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark 93.5 on, on the scale and what I'm going to do, because there's no sort of clear markings on the scale when you've got the set out, I'm going to get the cabinet as square as I can. I'm just going to check that it goes to 87 megs, which it does, it goes just beyond that, that's good. Uh, and then hopefully it will go to the other extreme, no problem. Yep, it does, that's good. So I'm going to go 93.5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the radio around and then slide it out of its cabinet. You can see that orange glow, it really is a bit... I don't like it, it's going to be changed, it's going to be changed for a clear bulb. Um, let's disconnect the speaker terminals, we just zoom in a bit so you can see what's going on. Oh, trample's just dropped down. So I'm disconnecting the speakers. Um, this is the aerial leads, they're just like a, a little clip-on clip. Disconnect the speaker again. will double check it once I've finished and you should always do that with um, all these live sets to make sure the neutral connection is actually connected to the chassis and not the live and it's not a, um, a, a plug you can transpose the connections on you know so it's not like a two pin plug or something like that so let's have a look so what I'm going to do we know that the scale is set at 93.5 there so I'm going to just put a little mark on the on the uh, scale so I know where 93.5 is. I'm just going to do that with a, I think a pencil mark will be fine actually. Uh, just do it because you won't be able to see that through the glass. So I know that's 93.5. I've just drawn a little pencil mark there. Let me just show you. Just put these little marks here and here, so you can see that there's a where the scale is. So I'm going to just calibrate the oscillator now. Um, out of the box. I simply, all I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the oscillator coil, and the oscillator coil is this top coil up here. Let me show you, zoom in so you can see. Right, you see these two op coils here. One's the RF uh, tuner, and the other one's the oscillator. So Connect an aerial up so we can, uh, and I know radio falls on 93.5, so we just I won't bother with the signal generator. Well, I haven't got a speaker connected, that would be useful, wouldn't it? So let's connect the speaker back up. Luckily, I think what I will be able to do, I'm going to order the pot in the next couple of days. I'll, ch I'll change the bulb and I think I'm basically all ready to go. Okay, no audio. on the insulation. The bulb's a bit garish but it's 93.5 so I just need to tune that to find radio 4. Very touchy control this um, and unfortunately it's a sort of a strange, uh, I think it's a Plessy trimming capacitor. Can turn the camera around so, you can, turn the unit around so you can see what I'm doing. This control here. 
marker put and then we would inject them into uh, tissue and then the tissue is prepared so that we can look at it when we see that they formed okay. what looks like Check out eggs. Trimming. Uh, tuning, make sure it's For a like. long time there has been a taboo around the subject of menopause. It is not talked about enough. Symptoms have discounted, but actually significant numbers of women can suffer severely from, mm, from pretty sweat, good. sleep disturbance, joint aches, low mood. Difficulty. What I'm going to do now is now I've adjusted the RF oscillator, I'm going to move to the higher scale. Okay, well, I have a, I have I'm going to adjust the RF trim and I'm going to do that with the signal generator on the low level. So I'm going to turn the signal, Marconi signal generator on. So we're going up to sort of the high end of the scale. Uh, let's go 100 megs. Let's see if we've got anything here. I don't know what the top end of the scale is on this radio. So a quick look at the front panel. It's about 100, but about 99 looks like it's the last marking. There we go. Character carrier, so FM. An internal oscillator. Calibration is slightly out actually. Let's turn that down. Turn the volume of the radio up fully. And adjust this for maximum sensitivity. I'm adjusting the, uh, the other control now. I'm going to do this by finger because I've got no way of adjusting it so I'm going to adjust it and take the hand away and just get for maximum volume. You probably won't be able to hear on the camera because the automatic level control will uh, just flatten everything out but here we go. Weaker. Better. Turn the level down. We've got another station close by, so let's just try here. Let's move the carrier frequency down. Let's go to uh, 98 megs. There we go, that's the clearest place to work. And I'm just adjusting the trimmer again. Getting quieter. A bit louder, a bit louder, a bit quieter. That's a perfectly good way of doing it, and uh, that's the RF trimmer realigned. Let's pop it back in the box and check the scale of that, uh, calibration. That bulb stinks as well. I don't know when it's the paint on there, uh, but it smells quite un unpleasant. It smells like some burning plasticky smell. I'm sure I could probably scrape that paint off if I uh, could be bothered, but I think I'll just change the bulb. Let's slide it back into the case. Unplug it first so I don't get a belt. So let's uh, back in the case. So, which this camera's got a very wide field of view and a very wide lens on it, so you're a bit limited on what you can see. Slide that into position. Right, I'm just reconnecting the aerial leads up now. First one, second, we can speak a wire.
patch it on for the time being just to make do because it's going to be coming out again when, it, when I get the uh, replacement pot Best connection in the world, but it will do for now. Let's turn it around and see what we've got. So, plug it back in, and hopefully, the scale calibration should be a bit better now. It should be round radio 4 there. Of course, I'll have to check long wave and medium wave, but I should be able to do that with it in, in situ with a bit of luck. Essentially, uh, often it's so not that's pretty good actually for the natural um, age of puberty. Um, so we might be seeing levels of sort of 15 or 16 slightly off, but puberty. certainly good enough. Um, let's just check scale calibration high end, and it's 98. It's a bit spread out here, it's not too bad. And let's have a look at 88 megs. Okay, so the scale's actually a bit squashed in. But there's not a lot I'm going to be able to do about that, unfortunately, um, because there's no adjustment on this sort of budget radio to trim the oscillator out at different frequencies. Because it's using that variable inductor, it's 93. That's smack on. So I think that's pretty good. Um, so I'll just wait for a replacement pot. I'm going to put a clear bulb in it. And um, I'll obviously have to check the long wave and medium wave calibration, but that say that should be able to be done inside the cabinet and uh, hopefully you should next video will show it sort of with the new pot in it and all working thanks for work